uh, Charles Hoskinson, uh, co-founder of Cardano, joined Discovery Crypto to discuss his thoughts about the state of the crypto space, um, what current developments in the industry suggest, um, and uh, the network's future as the uh, Taylor Swift of blockchains. Uh, the recent interview sparked a discussion about uh, Cardano's relationship with crypto exchanges like Gemini and other figures in the crypto industry. As the interviewer suggested, there appears to be said a coordinated effort to minimize Cardano's impact. And during that discussion, Charles Hoskinson noted that most players in the crypto space seem to fear Cardano for doing everything right since the beginning. Hoskinson listed factors like liquid staking and its growth without venture capital funding as crucial elements that made Cardano pretty scary. When asked why stablecoins like USDC are not on the Cardano blockchain, it was highlighted that the reason is neither economical nor technical. Instead, the conversation indicates a seeming for lack of a strong desire to engage with the blockchain and its projects. Um, and following the discussion, Hoskinson uh, expressed his thoughts and concerns on, on asset-backed stablecoins, affirming that he doesn't like them and they are not crypto uh, despite 80 to 90 percent of the real money velocity and uh, 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 value transactions that happen on chain being done through them. Um, and the Cardano founder considers the highly centralized state of asset-backed stablecoins as a concerning matter as they grant control over the crypto space to a few entities. Um, at the end of the day, they're controlled by um, uh, centralized entities and the problem when you look at asset-backed stablecoins connect them to CEX's centralized exchanges. Um, they have gargantuan and uh, enormous control. And now we have a new actor, ETFs, and a huge amount of control over crypto. So 10 companies now basically control the cryptocurrency space. Uh, the current developments of the crypto space are also a matter of concern for Cardano's founder, with the recent tendencies and developments leaning towards a road opposite of the providing issues and a mission. The system, uh, to Hoskinson, the crypto market is handing soft power to a handful of regulated entities that control the value and volume of the crypto industry instead of aiming to take down banks and legacy financial systems. And Cardano's founder considers asset-backed stablecoins inevitable and highlighted that Cardano is not looped into that but eventually it will happen. So, however, he believed addressing his concerns was necessary as they weren't compatible with the long-term cryptocurrencies being decentralized and would generally affect the industry. Uh, to address this concern, uh, Cardano's team it has extensively researched uh, algorithmic stable coins, as Hoskinson considers them, a potential solution more suitable for the crypto industry using it. Lastly, Cardano's founder closed the interview by comparing American singer Taylor Swift and the crypto industry, jokingly suggesting that compared to the 14th Grammy winner, nobody knows who Charles Hoskinson is. And, uh, however, the interviewer pointed out that, like Swift, Cardano could follow a similar trajectory and grow from a smaller and niche artist to a globally recognized and uh, mainstream figure with a significant impact on the world. Hoskinson replied that he would love to be the Taylor Swift of blockchain.